talk about a bad trip. Holy shit. So Climax has a new art house dance horror film that's written and directed by Gaspar Noe, the same man who brought us Enter the Void, Love and Air Versible. Climax stars an ensemble cast, and among this cast is Sophia Batella, and basically Climax follows these group of dancers that go to this abandoned school where they're having this intense dance rehearsal, where after they finish for the night, they decide, you know what, we're gonna party hard, and they're drinking a sangria, and while they're partying, they notice that the sangria is spiked with LSD, and to say the least, shit hits the fan. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Climax. Gaspar Noe is one of those filmmakers that is known for supporting in some really just brutal and for some really just insane stuff in his movies, not to mention disturbing as all hell. Now, I haven't seen Enter the Void and I haven't seen Love, but I have seen Irreversible and Irreversible is one of the most disturbing movies I've ever seen in my life. I mean, there's one particular scene that I know you guys, that if you have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's a scene that haunts me to this day. But I was curious to see this one because it was marketed as a horror film, but it's from A24. And I love, I mean, I love nearly everything that A24 has done. And I'm going to say this right now to you guys. Climax is essentially an assault on the senses and every possible sense i mean oh my god going into performances wise the only actor i knew in this movie was sophia patella and she does a phenomenal job i mean not just her but everyone else and for the life of me i'm not gonna remember every other actor's name because i'm gonna tell you guys right now there are parts of this movie i mean there are very small parts they do speak in the english language for the most part though this is a foreign film and i do not remember a single person's name in this movie so for all of you in this movie, I just want to let you know all the performances are eggs in this movie. How it starts soft, you can really tell that these dancers really want to do something new with their lives. But basically, Radway gets that second half. How these guys are just experiencing everything that goes on. The performances just have me thinking, holy shit. Since that this is a dance movie, the dance choreography is incredible. When you see some of the dance movies that these guys do, when you see them move their hips or just move their joints in the way they do, I just thought, oh my god. God, like, I could never in a million years do what these guys do. I mean, the opening sequence in this movie, the opening dance maneuver is done. It looks like it's done. I don't know if they actually did it, but it looks like it's done in one shot. And how they did this, well done. But really, guys, the best thing about Climax is all the technical aspects. The cinematography, oh my God, the cinematography, the lighting, the use of colors, and the soundtrack. Now, like I mentioned before to you guys, the opening dance number of Climax looks like it's done in one shot. And if they did do it in one shot, I applaud them for this. But there are other sections, minus the opening dance number. And I'm not even joking with you guys. I don't know if it's stitched together to look like it's in one take, but there are at least two sections of this film that look like they are done in one shot. And how they did this, it looked amazing, particularly the second half. Oh my god, you guys. The second half of this film and how it shot looked amazing. When I absolutely loved about this film when it came to the camera work is that how Gaspar Noe because Gaspar Noe did operate the camera himself and Benoit I think to be I think that's how you pronounce his name lit the entire film but how Gaspar Noe moves and operates the camera in conjunction to how the dancers are experiencing LSD it looked incredible like how he is certainly not just how he tilts the camera around but how he just moves it in conjunction to how the dancers bodies move it just it it looked it looked amazing to say the least and again i do apologize if i'm butchering his name but how benoit db or db but how this man lights the film, particularly the second half of the film, lights the film with certain colors, particularly how he uses red, and to which you can tell the dancers are they're going to their absolute madness. Like, there is this one particular scene into which you guys will notice it, but basically Gaspar No inverts the camera, you know, flips it upside down, 
you feel like you are going into madness like these guys are. Along with the cinematography, the soundtrack of the film is incredible. Now, I don't know if Daft Punk, because Daft Punk is listed in the credits, if Daft Punk would to contribute to the film's soundtrack, or if there is one of their tracks in the film, seriously, they use a Daft Punk track incredibly in this film. But how the film's soundtrack plays in conjunction with how the film escalates once they do notice the LSD is within their system, it's something. It's playing in my head the damn good soundtrack. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is one of those films in which you have to be in it for the long haul because once you do get past that first half, Gaspar No rewards you with this auditory and visual experience that will just assault your senses by the time that seriously that by the time i left the theater i was shaken now here's the thing guys i didn't absolutely love this film even though i did have a hell of an experience with this film but there are a lot of issues that I have with this movie, and I mean a lot. Now, like I mentioned before, you guys, this is a film that you definitely have to be in it for the long haul, and you have to know what you're getting yourselves into. The very first half of the film takes ages, and I mean, this film felt like it took forever to get going. There were parts of this movie into which I was bored out of my damn mind to the point where i actually got a little sleepy but really the pace of the film for me felt molasses like for any of you that hate art house films stay clear of this film just warning you all and even though the second half of the film definitely goes pedal to the metal there are definitely some fucked up things going in the second half that I can definitely see people being absolutely disgusted by and the other thing is that this is definitely one of those films for me that is a one and done I can never see myself watch this movie ever again. So overall guys, simply put, Climax is an all-out assault on the senses. This is one of those films that from the auditory and the visual standpoint will put you in for a hell of a ride once the second half starts. And if any of you know Gaspar knows films, you will know what you're getting yourself into. But just know for those of you who have never seen a Gaspar No film, just know... You're gonna get yourselves into some fucked up shit when it comes to some certain points of the film. All in all, I'm gonna give Climax a 3 out of 5. I definitely enjoyed this film as an experience film, but really, I cannot ever see myself seeing this film ever again as much as I did enjoy this film. I can see people absolutely trash on this film, but I can definitely see people loving this film. Alrighty guys, so comment down, let me know below. Have you guys heard of Climax? Have you seen it? What'd you think? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat and Stardust. So if y'all want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links to your museums are in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Climax. If so, please hit that like button, share, subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever a new video of mine goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two reviews or videos, just click either right here or there. And of course, until the next review, I will see you guys next time.